decided to become an exercise scientist basically because I love sports. My name is Beth Moradian. I'm a senior scientist at the Gatorade Sports Science Institute. <laughs> Science is very cool. I love it. Well, to be honest, in high school, I didn't know I wanted to be a scientist. And as I took classes in exercise physiology and anatomy, I just became fascinated with how the body works. I think a scientist has to have a mind that's always questioning. And so it's, it's neat to have questions, and then you can do an experiment and find out the answer. Beth and the other scientists at Gatorade continuously study how the human body fuels and cools itself. What I do to help amateur and professional athletes is to develop hydration strategies that are specific to that individual um, to really help them optimize their hydration and nutrition, which ultimately optimizes their health and performance. Typically what we do is we have an athlete come in and they bring their own bike. And you can see Nick here is setting up their bike on the CompuTrainer. This CompuTrainer is connected to a computer that will project the course that the athlete needs to ride up on a screen. The computer also will control uh, the bike so that when it's going uphill, it puts resistance on the bike tire and the athlete will have to shift their gears to be able to get up the hill. During test product performance trials, Beth and her colleagues draw blood and measure oxygen intake from test subjects to determine how certain ingredients are performing in the body. I love the people. I love being able to work with human subjects meeting new people and having some new experiences. With my job, I've been able to travel a lot. I've done some studies out in the Sahara Desert in Africa, been able to travel to London and Italy for conferences, and it's just been a great experience meeting many well-known scientists in the field. So after this blood draw, um, we're gonna get your body weight, and then we'll have you start exercise. We'll cycle at the intensity that we set during your orientation. And then um, once you start to sweat, we'll put the sweat patches on you. The sweat patch test helps measure the amount of electrolytes we sweat out as the body cools itself. Knowing how many electrolytes we lose during different levels of exercise helps Beth and the other scientists figure out how much should go into various formulas of their products in order to help athletes rehydrate. Some of the hurdles that I face in my job is, uh, well, when you do human subject research, nothing ever happens the way you're, uh, you plan. Um, you know, people get sick, equipment might break down, so your timeline that you've developed to finish your study, you know, might get pushed back a month or even six months, and that can be a bit frustrating, you know, especially when you're excited to find out what the result is. This is our exercise sensory lab. When a subject comes in, we provide them with a small sample of their test beverage. We then ask the subjects to rate the beverage using a form similar to this one. Rating the taste is another big factor. If the product doesn't taste good, athletes might find another way to rehydrate. I think more women are becoming scientists. I want to say because they're cool. but. Um, I think the, the stereotype is being shattered and I think a lot of women have been interested in science for quite a time and you know now they feel like they have the opportunities that they can go into the field and um, you know become brilliant scientists. You can make a good living doing this type of work. In my leisure time, I like to spend time with my family and friends. Uh, we're having a Mexican fiesta. <laughs> Mexican's my favorite food. You can get it? I have a Boston Terrier, and uh, his name is Chomper, and Chomper is my baby. I love working out, so I do a lot of different uh, exercises and activities. I take karate, which has then spun off into mixed martial arts. It makes me feel strong, safe, and uh, feel like I can pretty much take on anyone.
sweaty. <laughs> the most rewarding part of being an exercise scientist is being able to help people. When an athlete comes in and maybe they have cystic fibrosis, so they are losing a lot of salt in their sweat, and this athlete might want to do an Ironman triathlon. I can then develop a hydration plan for them and a fuel nutrition plan for them that can help them be able to complete that race and you know help them achieve their dreams. Nothing's impossible. If you have a dream, you should go for it because it's definitely worth it. Go get it!